Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Maria Kidi. For those who are, are new here, yeah, I hope you are doing good. It's a nice day here in Africa, and uh, we appreciate. I was heading somewhere, guys. I'm going to see the progress of my maize. You know, I told you there is a part of my maize, uh, my maize farm which is somehow far from home. So I'm heading there. So my hands was dirty. My hands were dirty since I'm from the farm. So we want to wash them. Here, yeah, you can see this is just a, a stream from uh, the far end there. So there is no bridge here, so you need to pass inside the water. <laughs> so we are going together to see the progress of our uh, our youtube maze guys how it is doing so last time there were some pests which were were attacking my farm so since i consulted as i told you i consulted uh, many experts and uh, he told me that once it will start to rain and i apply fertilizer all will be well they will migrate so since I have done so, it rained and I applied the DAP fertilizer. Now I'm going to confirm if it is true. If they are normal, it's good. And if they are spreading, I'll go, I'll go, I have to go and buy some pesticides. These are banana plants. So I'm passing inside here. It's a bit rough. So you need to be I'm almost there since I worked some uh, distance before I started recording. Yes, let's go there. This is a, a Skuma Wiki plantation, but it seems like it is getting old. And this is a sisal plant. In my community here, sisal plants are used. They are planted as a boundary. For example, if you have a, your farm and uh, you want to create some boundaries, since here we don't do some things like a building hall, walls, I mean. So you plant those sisal and that boundary and they can serve. That's why you can see it is there. So it marks that the boundary of this farm is its direction somewhere, somehow here. Another one is here. It is small though. Another one is there. Hope you can see it. So this is now my maize farm. Wow. Guys, it is really progressing. I thank God. I thank Mamri's. It seems like these pests are no more. Because you can see now the leaves are different. So, these experts gave me a good advice. These ones are not needed here. I didn't plant this one. When they will uh, start growing here, or maybe I can put it here so that it can compose and add fertility. If I leave them here, there will be a lot of uh, competition at that uh, particular area. They will be competing for space, nutrients, so we don't want something like that. That's why I had to uproot them. This is the size all that I was showing you you are not able to see it they are very useful here in my community wow guys you can see how my farm is shining thank you so much mom Liz. i know this is a you played a very vital role here so let me keep on saying thank you and i hope god wanna add you more guys this is my maze 
I can't believe. Let me say that this is my my ear. Wow. You can see how they are big, guys. Very big. Mom, please, thank you so much. You know, you bought me fertilizer and these are planting seeds. Yeah. I don't want to imagine if you could not do this to me where I could, I could be right now. Actually, this is what made me to go to work in the villa. You know, I had rented a farm, but I had no planting material and fertilizer. So I was like, what am I going to do? Whom am I going to ask for help? So I decided to go to villa, not because of my channel, but because of working and getting money, at least for my farm. You know, guys, I spent money here and uh, it reached a time when I was not able to afford anything. So I didn't knew, but I used to pray and say that, God, you were the one who gave me this idea of going back to the farm and uh, doing this plantation. You were the one who gave me that money of uh, going to rent that farm. So let me hope that you know where those planting seeds will come and the fertilizer. Only to realize that despite of me struggling, there God had already planned. This is so pleasing and I don't know what I can say. Yeah. I'm really pleased and delighted because of these guys. You can see, oh, I can't believe. I can't believe, guys. You can witness. This is the this is the first sight, because you know the the person who I assigned to plow this land, because initially maize were planted here by another person, so. When uh, they harvested those maize, I assigned someone to plow this land. So he failed to plow this part here. You can see there is a certain part here which has a lot of glass. So I don't know why he did so. So these are separated, this part of the maize and uh, this one. But all are mine. This place, it seems like, uh, you know, shed from this tree, they will interfere with the growth of maize here. That's why I failed uh, to plant. Now this is another part, guys. Wow. This is the work of mom Lee's, guys. Wow. <laughs> I don't know what I should give you. Actually, let me say I have nothing, but the true God, one day, I want to make you happy or maybe I want to make someone, somebody's happy through you. Guys, they are really growing. Wah! Uh, <laughs> so, even this part here, I'm about to do my second uh, weeding. You can see they are the size of my waist size of my waist and no more pests even if i paid some money for consultation you can see it has really helped i paid the expert 500 kenyan shillings to give me the advice of what i should do you can see now guys what he advi they advised me is good my mates have no pests you can see with me guys you can witness no pest at all no pest at all no pest they are very healthy and i've not yet applied second fertilizer so these holes that you are seeing here are uh, the one that uh, this pest were making before i applied fertilizer and before it rained 
but I think when we are going giving it time it will grow so let me show you another part where it was really affected by those pests do you remember guys the, that maze that uh, I took one pest from I don't know if you remember but it was somewhere here or maybe it is this we can have a check and see if there is some changes which part was it i don't even remember i wish i could even uh, leave there a stick so that i can remember there is some stick here or maybe it is this guys do you remember if i left there a stick because this one i found it here maybe it is this no anyway but all in all i appreciate guys let us continue praying for mom this without forgetting uh, my brother who gave me this phone you can see now nowadays how my video are clear and apart from them being clear nowadays i can be able to make at least two contents per day because you know here is a village is a remote area so electricity sometimes charging phone it might be a trauma a trauma sometimes so if i i secure a chance of uh, maybe uh, getting a time to do content in a day i can do even two contents in a day so that another day if uh, a charging problem occur i will uh, be able to post the other content so my brother thank you so much i wish god could help you you know could uh, bless you as well so it you know it's not easy many people have been watching my video before i bought this phone and maybe they were not interested in knowing that uh, in knowing the reason why my video was so bloody but uh, this brother of mine got concerned and uh, he came to my inbox to ask me why my video are like that once he realized that it is due to phone problem he decided to surprise me with this phone thank you so much thank you so much i'm treating it like an egg <laughs> I can't allow anyone to touch it unless I give it to you. And I give it out in condition. First, don't touch the phone screen with the dirty hand. You can see when I was about to, to start my video, I washed my hand down in the river there. So if I can wash my hand to touch my phone, whom are you to touch this phone with the... Uh, dirty hands so you can see my hands are clean i cleaned my hand before touching it touching it so that's what it is thank you so much let's see that is the other corner of uh, my maze here a sweet potato you know every time I, that I, I i come here i have to check uh, this uh, corner here because they normally glaze here so they might be careless and leave cows to come and eat my maize at this corner and i failed to know so i must be concerned about this wow, guys i can't believe can't believe I think next maybe is buying a land but uh, let me not talk about it let me leave it for God to plan so I was uh, planning that uh, the person who I gave money to give me this farm at this season I was thinking uh, I was talking with uh, him yesterday and uh, I told uh, him that maybe next season he should uh, give me up to the far end there, uh, up to the river, because this is the boundary of uh, my maze for now. 
here so this small one that uh, you are seeing here are for another person so i told him that uh, he should give me up to next time i mean next season that's uh, from august he should give me up to the river there guys but uh, he charged me a lot of money he told me it is a uh, ten thousand from the river up to the far end there that you are seeing but i think it is big and if i get the chance to farm from the river up to the far end there i can harvest a, a lot of maize because from there up to there is around uh, three acres or maybe two and a half so i think all is going to be well i'll try and uh, see if they will uh, my pocket will allow me soon and uh, you know he told me that I should pay him because he needs to buy fertilizer but uh, I never know tomorrow maybe things gonna change and I will pay for it let us see the other end here of uh, this farm about to fall down better i fall down but my phone don't <laughs> uh, yeah, from here up to the river bank it's a big track of land somehow big guys So finally the mission is accomplished, as I told you that I came here to confirm if uh, those pests are migrating or maybe they are interfering with my maze or rather spreading. So in good luck, luck was on my side, I found that no more pests in my farm guys. So let me go back home i'm very joyful at this moment since uh, my maids are growing up and uh, there are no more pest attacks that's a blessing guys that's a blessing so let me go wash my face because i feel like I'm sweating. Today seems to be a sunny day. But uh, it rained yesterday night. That's why today early in the morning you saw me preparing a vegetable garden. So if it is rain today again, it will be good. But the rain of nowadays uh, here in Africa, it's not predictable. Because even uh, sometimes back, the time of planting, it could rain so much. But nowadays it rains one day and it fades for, for even one week. So we fail to understand. It's somehow unpredictable. But we, let, let us keep on hoping for the best have now decided to plant even if there is no rain when it will come it will come but i thank god for me my maids have already planted so they they are growing either rain or fail to lay a train it can't interfere with them since they are able to survive in dry conditions so so long as they the seed germination occur Either rain or fail, it's more than okay. So, I want to wash my legs here, they are dirty before I go home. So, if I could be having a selfie stick here, I could uh, 
not pause but because I don't have someone to hold for me this camera I'll have to pause guys or maybe let me see if I can place it somewhere as it is uh, recording so that I can uh, wash I don't know if you can see me clearly. I want to wash my hands with this sand. In my home there, these are the sands that I use to scrub uh, the cooking pot. We call them sufuria. Here we don't use steel wood. We use satellite sands, this one, to scrub them. And they, they, it acts very nicely, guys. So whenever I came across to any river, Maybe I usually go with the container and take them to my place, put them somewhere. Apart from that, uh, you know, here in my community, most of people, uh, where they, they, they normally place the drinking water inside the pot. So what you do, you take these sands, a lot of them, guys, and then... Uh, you you go to a certain corner of your house you choose a certain corner of your house and you spread these sand there and then you put uh your water drinking water pot and then you pour water inside we believe that it makes water inside us so cold in big towns i know you you normally place them inside a dispenser you buy and then you place inside that dispenser but here you must go you need to go to a river there is some specific river set aside for to fetch some drinking water and then you fetch maybe if it is 40 liter depending the size depending on the size of uh, your pot and then you put inside that's how we do. So I think now I'm clean. So <coughs> let me head home. This area is not that good. You can see how it is thick. So you need to be careful. If not, you can easily fell down here there is uh, some arrow roots here in my place we as well plant arrow roots but uh, you can't uh, plant it anywhere no you just choose any place but it should be beside the river bank that's where you should plant your arrow root like you can see at far end there there is a uh, some arrow roots plantation so that shows that you need to do it in beside the river bank it seems like here there is a lot of banana plantation because there near my maize plantation there is another one, another one is here, another one is here. So, anyway guys, as I am heading home, oh, with uh, some joy inside my heart, let me say bye. I think I should meet with you in the next video. So, if you are watching this video, please kindly subscribe 
and if you are a returning subscriber let me say thank you for coming back to watch my amazing content leave a comment there what do you think of mamlies what do you think of my maize you know should i plant again next season should i tell me anything that you think about and without forgetting to like my video so let me say bye and i will meet you next time